Let's talk about the upper soul. Let's talk about the upper soul. So, I didn't come on last Thursday or Friday. It was boring. I got the notes. My computer restarted. It took away the notes, but I kind of, sort of, kind of remember what happened. So, Sammy, your world is about to come crashing down, and I mean hard. While you was trying to tell on Nicole and her alleged affair she had with Xander, your world is about to be turned upside down. And while you talking to Lucas, thinking Lucas going to keep your secret, Lucas is the one that's probably going to expose that. You know Lucas don't like EJ. You know he despised him, actually. You don't think Lucas will turn you in that letter you thought you burned? But then Johnny called you, and then he got from the fireplace, and now he's toting around like it's a trophy. First of all, your secret is about to be exposed. Gabby got a hold of Jake, so Jake ain't going to expose it. Lucas now got the letter, and we already know as much as I like Lucas, I'm down for Lucas. I love me some Lucas. Crazy. Talking, babbling. I like Lucas in general. Drunk Lucas. I like Lucas in general. But Lucas is Lucas is the wrong secret keeper. He already don't like EJ. He's another Xander when it comes to this secret. Lucas are rather out his own self, put himself in a line of fire, just the PO um EJ. So I'm guessing that's what he about to do. Go ahead and throw some hints at EJ, telling EJ that, man, you got to look close or whatever. So I'm guessing that's what he about to do or go another round with EJ again. Even though I don't know why he like going rounds with EJ. EJ going to always hurt him and hurt his feelings, no matter what. And you already know Lucas already got a hatred towards EJ. So we already know you best well, Lucas thought y'all had something going on. EJ calls in the town, ruined that good time that y'all had since twice in the wine cellar. He already going around expressing himself, babbling, talking to Roman and anybody else that are listening to him about how much rave or how much he don't like EJ, how much he despise EJ. How EJ snap his fingers and he you come running. EJ say jump, you say hi hi. EJ say do a backflip, you flipping. EJ say do jump up and then fall on your head, you fit to do it. So Lucas don't like that. So I think I can see Lucas exposing y'all on the Zenda top of way. But I, I don't think he got, I, 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 I'm going to say I don't think he got the cojones to do it. I, I really don't. Like, Lucas is the angry person when it comes to EJ, but I don't think he that angry. I, I will give him that benefit of a doubt. Maybe with a little liquid courage he might, but he been clean and sober, thank God, now for a while now. So, I don't want him to risk his sobriety by getting that courage to face EJ and tell EJ, me and yo, 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 me and yo, well, you, um, the mother of my child, your wife, we had sex not once but twice while you was supposedly supposed to be in Italy. So I don't think he got the cojones to do that. But then again, Lucas always wear his heart on his sleeve and he always managed to tell on himself. So watch it end up coming out via Lucas. I, I got that. I got that feeling that Lucas going. Lucas ain't gonna say it out loud, but Lucas gonna get caught slipping. And with that letter in his hand or in his person in general, it's bound to come out just by via Lucas. Like you know, I wouldn't trust Lucas with a ball or a balloon. I'd be scared he gonna pop it or whatever. But that that's just me. I wouldn't trust Lucas as far as I can throw him. Love him dearly, but I wouldn't send me. Good luck with that. Nicole, again, we're going to say this one more time for you and the Nicole's in the back that didn't get it. 
You trying to out Sammy is only going to make yours come out worse. Look how many people know that you and Xander had that night together. Christy knows. Sammy, well, I forgot. Christy knows. Brady knows. Nicole knows. How far is it to catch on or with Xander loose lips? He gonna keep this secret. Now that Eric back in town and he surprised you on your anniversary, that secret is about to come out. And I'm hearing some spoiler that Lucas also, I mean Lucas, Eric also cheated on Nicole in Africa. I'm hearing that rumor a lot. I'm seeing that a lot of my comments that Eric also cheated on Nicole. So if he did, that's basically a Washington be mad at each other, I guess. Nicole, you be mad at him. Eric, you be caught. I guess that's what we going to do. Y'all going to be mad at each other for each other. One of y'all stepping out of y'all marriage, I guess. I'm pretty sure it could be possible, but Eric the same. You know what? Anything can happen. Eric is no longer a saint no more, so you know it can happen. He could have stepped out on Nicole. Nicole already then stepped out on him. So we have to wait and see, I guess. Um, Bonnie, Justin, Bonnie and Justin. Now, Bonnie, I'm more of the, I'm more of the traditional kind of person, kind of guy. I like to see the woman propose. I like to see the man propose to the woman, not the woman propose to the man. You put your heart out there. You thought it was, you know, he basically telling you no to the proposal. He was basically trying to explain to you after he chased you down at the Kiriakis mansion. He wanted to do it the traditional way. He wanted to marry. He wanted to ask you to marry him, not you ask marry him. So. They ended up getting it together. They ended up having sex. They ended up, you know, getting that together. I I'm glad Justin ain't flat. Because I was about to say, what? Now, Justin, you say you love her. You go basically to bat for her when it goes against your family, your relatives, or anybody else that got something against Bonnie. But you won't marry her or give her, you know, engage her or whatever but you willing to go to bat for her you went against the bat for her against steve victor anybody that best that wasn't agreeing with you and bonnie day and you basically went to bat for her now you don't want to marry her even though i think that's kind of odd and weird that a woman would propose would propose to a woman but she did it in well I proposed to a man, but she did it anyways. And then you switch it around and say, No, I want to add shoe and had the rain then told. We don't know if Bonnie had a rain, but Justin sure had a rain. And then I guess she basically well, I guess it's basically just uh she beat him to the punt. Well, she beat him to the punt before he can do it. She already had it in mind and already had it that she was going to propose to Justin. Justin was just too late to the game and didn't realize that when she invited him because she had a drink to ask Kayla, would she be her maid of honor, matron of honor, or whatever she asked Kayla? And basically, she needed that drink to do that. And then she didn't realize Justin was basically proposing. Well, she didn't realize that Justin was going to propose to her. So she proposed to him, thinking that. I don't know what she was thinking, but she thought it was going to work out that way. And I'm glad Justin and you know didn't let her down too lightly. He basically told her, I want to marry you, but he did it the right way. Well, it's odd to me to see a woman propose to a man. So, I guess uh, it's just going to be a lot odd to me. And But I guess I I'm glad that got straightened out or whatever in it. You know, worked itself out. Now, to the murder. Xander, Gwen, this whole mess. Now y'all ain't got um, Julie involved in this mess. 
I told you it was only a matter of time before Julie get herself involved in it. And who left the tablet with that man picture on it? Xander, was that you or was that Gwen? Which one of you silly fools left that picture up there, left that tablet up there with that man picture on them? That's what gave her the idea and the hint hen. And you know EJ was listening to her, but not really. But I'm pretty sure he gonna realize that Julie was telling the truth. And Julie was saying that the man body was transferred from day house to the lake. And it involved where well, the murder scene basically is at the Julie house or Jack house or Jennifer house, whoever house they claim it that house now. So basically, you gonna find, Eli, you gonna find out that your grandmother was telling the truth. The murder happened at Julie's house or Jennifer house, Jack house, one of the Horton house or the Williams house. Basically, you gonna find out that's the crime scene where it started at. And basically, Julie was feeding you a bunch of BS. She was basically telling you the truth this whole entire time. You'll find that out soon enough. We, you ain't that smart enough to figure it out that your grandma was telling you the truth. So, give it a few days, a few weeks, maybe a month in. He I realize that Julie is involved in this, but not in the way of covering it all. She the one that discovered the man laying on the couch, thinking like she said, she thought he was drunk and hung up. She thought he was drunk and passed out. She didn't realize he was dead at the time when she saw that man on the couch and You'll figure it out, Eli. You got FBI skills still left in you somewhere. You'll figure it out, maybe, uh, eventually. Uh, somewhere around there, Eli. Paulina. Paulina is on a world apology tour, apology, apology tour but not really. She's sorry, but not that sorry. She wants the money from this, but she ain't gonna apologize for it. A just chop it up as you got played, you got manipulated, you got fooled, you thought this woman was gonna love you, find out she was just using you, and it happens to the best of us. Everybody get played every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month. You're not going to be the first and you're not going to be the last. This, this Just chop it up as you got played, Abe, and start running around here like you want to cry. You got played. You got manipulated. She fooled you into thinking that she wanted you. She really do want you. But she want the money more than you. Basically, she would rather have sex with the money than you. Basically, it happens to the best of us. Eh? Everybody, can, everybody done got played before in their life. Everybody done got lied to and everybody done got used in the bills. And eh? just chop it up as you got to know who to trust and who not to trust. And when something a little odd, you got to look at it sideways. Or better yet, pay, more, pay better attention to what you're facing and what's in your face. And realize who the real ones and who the fake one. Basically, just chop it up as you got played. And them eggs you got thrown at you at whatever you was at, them eggs got thrown at you. That's only the that's only the, the start of the of your problems there. Rather she get away with tearing down the Horton Times Square or not, that's the least of your problems. You should have an election coming up soon, shouldn't you? Yeah, mm hmm Like I said, this is gonna be a whole lot of money. I told you it was gonna be a mess of you, A. Hey, I said it in the video when I first realized this woman was playing you for a fool. And I said, Abe, hey, this is gonna buckle down the this might be your job right here. And she succeed with tearing out uh, as you say a montament, a montament or whatever you said, uh um a historic part of the Salem, and she succeeded in tearing that down. Best of it, just, just go ahead and clear your stuff out of the mayor's office because it's going to be DN for you. I, I didn't told you, Abe, I tried to warn you in my previous videos that if this happened or the fact that she got this close and now you on the process of trying to stop her, which is going to be even more slower for you and more faster for her because basically she got everything she needs. She got the permits and everything else. All she got to do is Get what she got to get and tear down the buildings.
She can go to each storefront and go with a baseball bat and swing at each 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 one of the department stores that she wants to. Basically, you let her have your whole part, the important part of Salem, and you gave it to a criminal, a money thief, a money grabber, somebody that used you. And not only that, she own a what well, is the Salem man? She own that too. So, and let's say. You keep the Horton Town Square. What if you look at the um that hotel and decide, okay, since I can't do it over here, I can do it over here. So you still screwed, no matter how you twist it or how you turn it. She basically own that stuff. So even if you do stop her, what goes to say she won't tear down that hotel and put it there? You basically redid it well. You basically rezoned it for her because she said, "Oh no, that's not enough. I need more space." You basically cleared that space for her. Then on top of it, she then bought every store around the Horton Town Square, including the hotel. So if she can't put it there, she can put it there. So, hey, this is gonna come down to your job, buddy. Dumb ass was just a part of your troubles. You're going to learn to pay attention. That woman showed you she was a snake from the jump. Lonnie warned you and told you. My mama told me not to trust Paulina Prize. You chose to trust her and not look at you. Hey, I can only hope you come out of this clean and you end up with a job after this. Or you end up in the mayor's office after this. Because if you end up Losing your male position because of Paulina, she not gonna feel sorry for you. She got exactly what she wanted. Your historic time of your your historic part of your town turned it into whatever she wanted to turn it into. Did what she wanted to do, and basically you let her do it with your permission and signature. So, hey, I hope it ain't too hard on you. That's all I can say. I really don't feel bad for you. Like I said, this is just a sign of getting played, and it's just a sign of she got the best of you, and it happens to the best of us, and basically, you want to take this one on the chin. It might mean your job, but you got to be more careful who you bring around in your circle. That goes to show you not everybody meant to be in your circle or be around you because you never know what they're going to end up doing to you. And basically, you didn't let her do what she want to do to you. And basically, now you looking like a fool wondering where did I mess up at. Love games, Brady, Brady, Chloe, and Philip. Do I have to? So she don't want Brady. She won't feel up. Brady goes in for a kiss. Chloe then push him away. She told him she already promised Philip a, a, a future. So now she with Philip and not with Brady. You know what, Chloe? Whatever floats your boat at this point. I, I'm sick of it. I, I'm over it. You still made a wrong choice. Your business, your problem. Have fun with your decision, I guess. When it comes back to bite you in the you know what. Have fun, I guess. Um Chad, I got a bone to pick with you. Now you know Sierra already married. You know Steo is a Theo is a little slow. Why would you be why would you be promoting Theo to go with Sierra and marry her again? Why would you do that, you damn me? You know there's no nothing good gonna happen out of this whole Theo proposal to, to Sierra, right? You you know that, that nothing good gonna happen out of that, right? But your dummy self stopped there and cheered it on, ate it on. Oh, I can't wait. You always wanted her. You always loved her. Now you got a second chance. Oh, I can't wait for the what I'm looking. I'm like, oh Lord, Chad, you are the Now you know that boy is kind of special. Now why would you sit up there and promote that boy knowing that boy gonna get hurt? Chad, why would you do that? Are you a little touched? 
Why can't nobody shoot and scrape with with Theo besides Julie and Doug? Why is Julie and Doug the only one that's telling this boy, look, don't get your hopes up. Things can happen. That girl can get her memory back tomorrow. Where did that leave you? You kind of setting yourself up for failure. You might want to slow down, Theo. This might not end well. Why is everybody spoon? Why is everybody spoon feeding Theo? And of all people, Chad. Chad, if I was there, I would have something to you. Why are y'all spoon feeding this boy, knowing that this boy is gonna get set up for the worst thing possible? Y'all not warning this boy or telling this boy that look, she lost her memory. She can get it back the day or tomorrow. Then what? What's gonna happen? Like, why are y'all spoon feeding this boy? And Chad, to see it from you, I was so disgusted. I, I want to jump through my screen and slap the living you know what out of you. I'm like, now Chad, you say you care for this boy. It's obvious you don't care too much. Because you know this is going to be set up for a downfall for him. Once Ciara, if Ciara get her memory back, it doesn't matter. And she chose to go back to the, the, the bin. Where do that leave Theo? Heartbroken and alone again. This is part of the reason why he went to South Africa. Or part of the reason why he went to South Africa. And that's it. I'm done. I, 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 I can't. I'm just seeing Chad sitting up there doing I'm like, oh, Lord, Chad. I had high hopes with you. And then here you go doing all this. Like, really, Chad? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Gwen and Xander. I guess y'all deserve each other at this point. Y'all gonna be prison, but so I, I I I guess at this point, have fun, Gwen and Zander, but don't have too much fun because Eli's Eli behind is on y'all behind. So have fun, I guess. I I guess I give you that much. Just have fun. Um, that's about it, I think. Yeah, that's about it. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.